What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the Cowboys Corner. Welcome back, period, guys. Football season, man. Can you just feel it? Can you taste it? Football. It's back, baby. This previous Sunday was the last Sunday with no football. So, Cowboys open this thing up. Speaking of Cowboys, right? Hard knocks. Um... Hall of Fame game, opening up the season against Tampa Bay Buccaneers, right? Cowboys, they're getting that spotlight, that much-needed spotlight. Dak Prescott made a big point just the other day. He's like, after after the ratings, after no fans, I kind of expected the Cowboys, you know, to be in some kind of spotlight. Hard knocks, Hall of Fame game, season opener. Um, we're the Cowboys, baby. We're America's team. You need money, you need revenue, Cowboys got you. You feel me? Cowboys, it's America's team. Everybody, no matter where you go, there's a Cowboy fan. Everywhere you look, everywhere you go. Right? Cowboy fan everywhere. But let's talk about this preseason game against the Pittsburgh Steelers, guys. The Hall of Fame game. Uh, obviously no starters, right? But football's back. So it's worth talking about because football is here. Um... I got two players on offense. I got two players on defense, guys. First player on offense, Garrett Gilbert. How is Garrett Gilbert going to take that next step playing with the Cowboys? Uh, he did get a start last year, ironically, against the Pittsburgh Steelers. He looked really good. Uh, had a chance to win that game, but a backup quarterback um, fell short. You know, not a lot of that was his first NFL start, but he did, he did look good. Um, you know, if a backup quarterback can give you a couple of games, waiting for you started to get back, give you a couple of wins, you're in good shape, right? Can Garrett Gilbert do that? I think so, but I need to see I need to see some consistency in Gil in Garrett Gilbert. Another one, guys, on offense, Malik Turner. All right. The wide receiver number 17. Um, he's been chopping it up in practice, um, doing some really great things for this football team. Um uh, during this pre uh, during this pre uh, this training camp period, uh, but are the lights too big for right? Are the lights too big for Malik Turner? That's what we got to find out. Because I would love to see if these lights are too big for him, right? Um, but he has been making some plays. Can he take Noah Brown's spot? Can he make the argue for six wide receivers? Malik Collins, or excuse me, Malik Turner. How big is the spotlight for you? We're going to find out against these Steelers, right? On defense, guys, I got to go with Jabril Cox, all right? Jabril Cox. Um, not really a lot of noise in practice from our from from our, our fourth-round linebacker, right? Not a lot of noise. Or is he fifth round? I think he's fifth round, but not a lot of noise from him. And uh, so is he a Brad practicer? Does he need game reps, right? So I'm keeping an eye on Jabril Cox. I really need him to step up. That linebacker depth isn't really good. Jayla Smith scares me. Leighton Van Der Esch, he'll, he'll have the green dot. Uh, Micah Parsons, he'll, he'll, they'll be starting right. But I need more I need, I need need more confidence of that depth uh, for depth reasons. Can Jabril Cox fill in that role, right? We can go with offensive uh, 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 free agents, undrafted free agents like Francis Bernard or or uh, the, the other linebacker, number 57, I can't remember his name. But but I want guys that we invested in, right? Jabril Cox, we, we, we allocated draft picks to you. Can you come in here? Can you make some noise, right? So Jabril Cox, another one, another draft pick in the Sean Wright, guys. The Who was that third-round pick? Uh, the third of the third-round pick. Who? The Sean Wright? Who, who, who that, right? So a lot of noise, a lot of buzz coming out of practice. But the lights are turning on. How's he going to look, right? So I want to see how Deshaun Wright looks in this preseason game. But uh, but speaking of defense, let's stay on that topic. But I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. I am drinking the Dan Quinn Kool-Aid. I am. I'm drinking the Dan Quinn Kool-Aid. And uh, I, just, I, I like the swagger he's bringing here. Uh, the players are raving about him. They're understanding the system. According to DC Media, Dallas Cowboy Media, right? Not a, not not a lot of confusion. They're destroying. Uh, they're getting picks off Dak. They're getting picks off Garrett Gilbert, uh, uh, Ben DiNucci, and, and Garrett Gilbert. These guys, right? So the scheme don't look too big for them. Plug, pl a plug and play scheme, you know. 
this is what you got to do. Your job, almost like that Rod Marinelli, Chris Richard defense with a little Dan Quinn twist. A lot of Dan Quinn twist, right? They made that trick too strong, and that strongness is Dan Quinn. And uh, I, I really think that Dan Quinn's going to turn this defense around. Will it, will it go from last to first? Absolutely not. Will it be top 10? Maybe. Will it be top 13, 14, 15? Absolutely. And that's what I'm seeing from this defense. But Turk, takeaways, takeaways, takeaways. Let's see if they can take the ball away against these Pittsburgh Steelers. Sorry if I'm going on too long. I'm just excited. Let me know who you guys are watching in this preseason game. Who Who's your pet cat? I gave you my four. Um, let me know your pet cat. Let me know if I missed somebody. But uh, these are my four right here, guys. Definitely drinking that Dan Quinn Kool-Aid. But uh, I'll see you guys after the game to recap. So maybe these players made some plays. We'll talk about that. But, guys, it's nice to see you. It's nice to be back. Football, can you smell it? <sighs> Are you in the Cowboys' corner? Peace! Happy.